So I just showed you how to create a very simple crew and crew AI with one agent and one task um, and it acted as a customer support crew. Um, it, you know, the response that it gave was good, but it was, um, you know, based off no information, it was a hallucination and was wrong, but nonetheless, it was well formatted and it did what we asked it to do. Um, and then we defined it like this. Now, really quickly, I want to show you that this right here is not actually um, a scalable way. I don't think it's a scalable way to define um, several uh, agents and tasks, nor do I think it's a very clean way of doing it. Um, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is uh, to use the uh, YAML configuration that Crew AI allows. And so what that means is that instead of defining the uh, agent and the task uh, right there in uh, the notebook or in your code, you can actually define it. Let me get this centered so that you can see it like this right here in the uh, IDE. So we have these two YAML files. We have agents and task. This YAML file right here only ha has the um, just a customer support agent. It's got its role right here, its goal and its backstory. And this is the syntax with this colon and uh, greater than sign here. That's the syntax that create create I likes. And so this is how we define the uh, task and the agent using the YAML configuration. This is actually a whole lot cleaner in my opinion. Um, and it's actually uh, recommended by Crew AI. So really quickly, I wanted to show you that. And so I have them loaded into my environment here in my CoLab notebook. And I'm going to uh, pull those files in and I'm gonna show you um, how to do that. So I'm gonna copy and paste this code right here, which is going to open the agents.yaml uh, file and the task.yaml file. And I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to peek in and view the agent config. All right, as you can see, it has, it's a dictionary, it's a Python dictionary with the customer support agent name, its role, goal, and backstory. And then if we look at the task config, it's a Python dictionary as well with just the task name, the support task, the description, um, and then along with the expected output and the agent it's assigned to. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, create this agent and task again. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to copy and paste this like that. Except what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, instead of just, you know, right here, just defining the role, I'm actually going to access this agent config, right? And I'm gonna access the customer support agent key, and then I want the role. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the goal and the backstory. I'll go ahead and copy these down. Except this is gonna access the goal. This is gonna access the backstory. And then this sort of same idea is just going to be applied to the, to the task. Um, and so I'm gonna have the task config here. And so I'm gonna, I'm actually not gonna do customer support agent, I'm gonna do the support task and then access the description. Copy this over. All right, and I'm gonna access the expected output. And now this customer inquiry, we're gonna pass this in a different way. If you can, if you refer back to the YAML file for the task, there's this placeholder here for customer query and um, I'm going to actually pass this in a different way. And so I'm gonna pass it in when we kick off the crew. And so when you kick off the crew, uh, we're gonna create the crew first. And so let's create our crew, crew, uh, where we have our agents. That's gonna be our customer support agent, just like last time. And then we have our tasks equal to the Support task cross to is equal to sequential. Cool. And now when we kick it off, we're going to do crew.kickoff. We're passing a dictionary where customer customer query should be inquiry, but 
let's just call it this, is going to be equal to this. So this little uh, inquiry that we wrote above. And so I'm going to remove that. There you go. And then let's kick off the crew. And I'm not going to do that. Let me put the result so that we can So as you can see, our inquiry was actually passed in right here. Same uh, original task, and it was passed into the support task. And then we pretty much got a similar answer. It just went straight ahead to just stating the return policy, which we know is really not the return policy. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you, that's not really the point, I wanted to show you that you can actually uh, use the YAML configuration. It's a whole lot um, cleaner in my opinion and it's the method that we'll be using for defining our agents and tasks in the rest of the course.